in our previous video we have discussed on what is azure active directory b2b collaboration and how the b2b collaboration users authenticate based on their relationship to the organization and we have also discussed upon the different user types in b2b collaboration like the external guest external member internal guest and internal member and in this video we are going to invite a user invite an external user to our organization from the azure active directory so right now i have been logged into the azure portal and i am in, i have been into the active directory so for inviting a user we need to go to the users and in users i want to invite a new user so i need to click on new user then invite an external user so here i am going to invite a external user to my organization pyt so for that i need to enter the email id email id of the external user so with the external email itself we are going to invite the user to our organization so now i am going to enter the external email id so let me enter the email id okay and i'm giving the display name as pyt txt because already have the display name pyt upgrade yourself for the other record so here i'm giving it as the pyt ext ext means external and at the bottom we can see that invitation message so send invite message then if we select this an invitation message will be sent to the email pyt upgrade yourself at the gmail.com so let me click on message hi pyt as requested by your manager we have created a guest account for you in our organization welcome to pyt regards pyt upgrade yourself so if you want to mention the cc you can mention the some you can mention someone in the cc also for example if you want to mention the line manager or the department head or if not the administrator then you can mention the email id over here under the cc recipient and next let me go into the properties or if not if you want to create the account directly you can just cl click on review plus invite but before that i want to go into the properties so under the properties we can give the first name let me give it as like pyt the last name i'm giving it as like ext so instead of ext let me give it as like uh, two okay instead of ext let me give it as like pyt two and the user type is guest so if you want to give the user type as member you can give it as member and if you want to give the user type as guest you can give it as guest so if, if you give the user type as member then the particular user will be having the member level access in the organization but i don't want to give the member level access i want to give the guest level access so i'm going with the guest you can select the job title company name department employee id or the employee type and the hiring date office location so i'm just going to enter the office location and i'm leaving all this empty you can also click the manager details also contact information you can give the street address city let me give it as like bangalore then the state or province and then zip code country business mobile number so let me give the mobile number then you can give the if you want to add any other emails you can just add the user any other secondary email address then the parental controls when it comes to the parental controls we can give the age group whether uh, the person is a minor or if not an adult or a not adult so if you select like the minor then the consent provider for minor means the approval i mean it's like access level so you can just select it as like granted or denied or 
not required based upon your requirements and when it comes to the settings you can just select the usage location also so i am not going to enter any of this even let me select this as like none okay now i am going to click on next assignments so if you want to assign the user to any group you can add the user or if you want to assign the user to any role you can assign the role also but as of now i am not going to add the user to any group or role so let me click on review and invite so right now we can see the basic information of the user for whom we are going to invite into our organization so this is an external user and the email id of the external user is pyt upgrade yourself with the gmail.com the display name i have given as pyt ext but let me change it to pyt 2 because already i have a name with the display name as pyt upgrade yourself so i'm giving the display name as pyt 2 now let me click on review and uh, invite see here the send invite invite message yes and what what is the message we have given hi pyt as requested by your manager we have created a guest account for you in our organization welcome to pyt so let me go back and make the changes here okay now let me click on review and create then we can see all the user information and now let me click on invite so now an invitation will be sent to the user pyt upgrade yourself at the rate gmail.com so here we can see that successfully invited successfully invited user pyt2 and now i'm into the users so let me open the account pyt2 let me open the account pyt2 if i scroll let me search here for the user pyt2 See, as I said earlier, already I have an account with the PYT upgrade yourself. So that's the reason why I have given the display name as PYT2. So here under the user type, we can see this is a guest user. So the user will be having only the guest level access. He will not be having the access to the complete directory. So now if I open this PYT2, the guest user to whom we have sent the invitation. So it is uh, loading. And here under the overview, I can see that PYT upgrade yourself uh, underscore gmail.com slash external slash address PYT courses dot on Microsoft.com. So for all the external users, this EXT will be added. This EXT will be there for all the external users. But for example, if I check for the other user, let me check for the any other user. So let me go to the users. And here, if I check for Andrew Laura. If I check for Andrew Laura, here we can see the email ID as Andrew Laura at the rate pytcourses.onmicrosoft.com. But when we check for the external user to whom we have sent the invitation just a few minutes back, if we check for the external user, pyt2, here the email ID is mentioned as ext. So this is the email id of the external user pyt upgrade yourself at the rate gmail.com but instead of at the rate it has taken the underscore and after the user email this ext will be added for all the external users after this ext only the domain will be added at the rate pyt courses dot on microsoft.com you can see the user principal name the created date time the user type is guest identities identity is the domain and see we can also see here like user has not been added to any particular groups or applications also and even the roles and we can check that the we can see that the account status is enabled and here when it comes to the b2b collaboration we can see that invitation state the invitation status is pending acceptance because we have sent the invitation to user to user pyt upgrade yourself at the gmail.com but that particular user has not yet accepted the invitation and if you want to resend the invitation, you can resend it. Okay, if you want to edit any if you want to edit any of the properties, you can edit the information from here. So, like the display name, first name, the user principal name, or anything if you want to edit, if you want to add the job title, company name, or the employee ID, the city, the manager details, you can just update it from here. So let me go back to the user PYT. And now let me log into the account PYT upgrade yourself at gmail.com. So for that, let me log into the Gmail. So 
So let me click on sign in. And the email ID is pyt upgrade yourself at gmail.com. Okay, it's asking me to authenticate from the authenticator app. Let me do that. So I have approved from the authenticated application and now I will be logged into the Gmail account. So it's asking me to approve again. So I have approved it. And now see here I have a PYT Microsoft invitation. If I open this here we can see that PYT upgrade yourself invited you to access applications within their organization. So this is how the invitation will be received to the user to the external user. So the sender is PYT upgrade yourself and the organization is PYT the domain is PYT courses dot on Microsoft dot com. Okay. As we have sent the message as requested by my, your manager, we have created the guest account for you in our organization. So if you want to accept it, you can accept on this invitation. So once you accept the invitation, then uh, when you go into the user account in Azure Active Directory, it will be activated. So let me sign in again. send code now I need to enter the code which have been sent to my personal email id the pyt upgrade yourself with it gmail.com so let me enter the code now it's three seven triple five two one let me click on sign in let me say it as like yes okay so now let me Go back to the uh, permission requested accept. Okay, so now let me go back to the PYT upgrade yourself uh, active directory and let me see there. So I have accepted the invitation, right? So once you accept the invitation, you will be logged into the portal like this, the Microsoft application portal. So as of now, I have not given access to any of the applications and not even the groups or members. So it will be showing like this. So now let me go back to the Active Directory and let me refresh this. See invitation state accepted. So this is how we will be sending an invitation to the external user from Azure Active Directory. And once the user accept the invitation, the invitation status will be showed under the B2B collection. Sorry, B2B collaboration. So here we can see the invitation status as accepted. Thank you for watching this video and for more videos, please do subscribe our channel PYT. If you feel this video is helpful for you, please do like our video.